Hello there, hope everything is good with you, welcome to another daily dose of uh, gaming news and good stuff. Um, I didn't make any video yesterday, um, not much happening, still not much happening, but I still managed to get some stuff here to make a video here today. Uh, and as always, don't forget to like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Um, let's start with um, kind of PC hardware related news. Uh, which is uh, direct storage um direct storage it's uh, available uh, it's uh, like a technology and a uh, kind of an api um available on consoles at least the ps5 and the uh, latest xbox i never know the, the names of those ones so ps5 has this one um which is basically um, um faster loading times uh, it's basically what it does uh, it's uh, most how it goes about it that it's the most interesting thing um, it's been uh, like an SSD from Sabrent uh, basically it was produced basically just to enhance this function um, what it does basically is the, the direct storage it's uh, all the textures and everything that uh, uh, that uses a lot of space um, like for example you have like uh, the latest Call of Duties and everything they have like 100 gigabytes of um, of storage needed to, to install the game uh, still those textures and, and all the, the, the items and everything that it's needed to be um, usually it's like 4k stuff which is uh, uses a lot of space on your hard drive um, it, they are compressed so they have to be decompressed so they can be um, that info it needs to be pulled out to the GPU so it can shows on your monitor and usually uh, what it does because uh, um, it, the, 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 the information that is on the on the hard drive has to go to the to the CPU so that can be uncompressed and then that information goes for the GPU and with that you have a um, a delay um, uh, which gives us usually uh, with loading times uh, when you have to like for example load a level or something like that it takes more time because it has several steps until it reaches your monitor um, with this a a a direct storage uh, it, and in instance on this news the 1.1 usually what the technology itself it bypasses the, the the CPU it direct loads the information that needs to be decompressed to the gpu so it's le it's less paths that he has to go the information has to go through until it reaches the gpu so it goes directly to the gpu it it, it, it uses the gpu to decompress that 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 info uh, textures and everything so it can appear on your screen which reduces usually at the moment around 40 percent the the loading times so, so if it takes like 10 seconds unless uh, it takes like five seconds six seconds give or take depending on the situation um this is at the moment used basically on the the consoles but it will be introduced next year on the api itself from microsoft is going to be introduced on the, the pcs that's why i'm bringing you up this um and uh, this news is uh, talking related to this specific um, SSD, but uh, basically any um, NVMe can manage to do this, uh, and it th this technology uses um, basically uh, because the compression and compression usually it's like we're using WinRAR. It's good for uh, parallel uh, parallel workloads, and GPUs are very good at this. Um, so basically now and of course you have like technology implementation uh, for example building the, the 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 channels and how the information passes f uh, through the h, h uh, r drive to the gpu um it has to have also uh, hardware specific uh, things to do and one of the things and bandwidth mostly which is why these uh, new uh, nvmes are very good to use as this because if you're using an old HDD spin drive. It doesn't matter if it goes directly to the uh, to the GPU because the information flows very very slowly. Uh, that's why this is basically being implemented with uh, NVMe's because they have a bigger uh, bandwidth of read writes, 
uh, and they can do a lot of uh, IOPS opera, uh, so uh, IOPS is uh, operations per second uh, they are in all basically on the millions um, and that's why this is going to be very interesting and to a certain extent um, for example open world games they can be more fluid in the loadings uh, I suppose that the, the, the issues that we usually see with pop-ups textures uh, which is happens because the CPU is still uh, uh, decompressing the, the assets to show up uh, to throw them to the GPU so the GPU can show on the monitor this will bypass supposedly everything this technology supports this so supposedly we will not ever see now starting or we see less uh, textures pop-ups and uh, supposedly less artifacts because the it's just one uh, thing less that can be uh, uh, how do i say it can be um, the more paths you go the more probabilities you have like an error like an artifacts uh, artifact or something like that it's it brings more fluidity to a certain point in terms of visual style and especially with this uh, unreal engine new techniques because they implement in technology with foliages so the there is basically always being rendered and the maximum capabilities there's there are some a lot of tech videos regarding this i managed to watch some of them especially regarding foliage they have like a specific name for it uh, and it's going to be a, a more pleasant experience for 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 uh, 4k games and 4k te uh, textures and everything and it's going to be interesting so um it's supposedly uh, any ssd gen free ssd you can uh, manage to to use this te technology so you that i think from what i understood here you don't need to buy the latest uh nvme ssd uh gen 4 to use this kind of thing i think the, even the gen free um uh, SSDs are, are able to do this because they mention here uh, this one even though it's gen 4 but it's uh, like a comparison side uh, regarding this new Sabrent ones um, yeah versus a PC because gen 3 uh, also can do this so they've been doing also comparison to gen 3 SSDs um, but yeah it, it helps a lot uh, especially regarding um, uh, versus the, the NVMe, it's way better than the, for example, the, the normal SSDs from SATA, at least regarding this specific technology. So don't stress too much, as long as you have for now a, a, no, a normal SSD, two and a half inch, I think it, everything is going to be okay. Uh, I hope I've been kind of clear enough. I'm not an engineer or something like that, but this is from what I've read and what I've been reading from this kind of technology and what it does. Uh, I think I managed to put it a little bit, uh, a little bit understandable. Um, but yeah, this is a technology that we are going to see imp uh, be implemented more in when some games come out next year. There is one game, the, which one? It's Forspoken, which is, doesn't seem a very good game, uh, but at least it has this technology. See how it works. Uh, so supposedly, it's going to be uh, a very good technology to be used um and basically that is it for this one uh there is another news uh okay. the the death uh, stranding 2 suppose it's not going to be just a regular uh, sequel says idio kojima uh he launched the latest um podcast that he has on spotify which is brain structure um uh, supposedly i don't think from what i understood here that it's that Sam Bridges, which was the first protagonist of the first game, because I don't know the story, so uh, I'm just guessing here. Um, I'm not sure he's going to be like the main character because I don't know what happened to him in the game. Uh, I'm planning to, when I have my PC built, to make a, uh, a gaming series, or I don't know if, uh, if I manage to do some streaming on this game because I know this is kind of what people. A lot of people say it's a walking simulator, but I like these kind of games, uh, especially uh, with the uh, finger, uh, with the touch of Kojima. I think it's uh, it's it's very different from what people might be saying regarding walking simulators. But um, yeah, um, so basically, I don't know if you, uh, I think it's going to have other people from the previous games, from what I understood. 
uh, so it doesn't seem like a completely out of uh, unfamiliar uh, things regarding the, the, the sequel uh, but we will see I think he is okay he's still in development so it's nothing that it's finished um, and of course it should be coming on PC uh, usually it's like it came out eight months after the uh, the first one the first one came out uh, eight months to PC after launching on PlayStation 4 um, Usually they, they are not taking, they are taking, I think, between six months to one year to when they launch from PS5 games to PC. Usually it's six months to one year. Maybe it's to try to sell all the copies in PlayStation ecosystem, then they can launch to PC. Um, and also you spoke about the film adaptation from Death Stranding also. Uh, I already uh, touched this subject, so it's uh, the... Uh, Ito Kojima will produce alongside this Alex, I don't want to butcher his name, from Hammerstone Productions, which basically produced Barbarian. I think it's a good movie. Um, which uh, this guy, uh, the Hammerstone Productions, will also finance the project. We will see. Uh, he made a statement, it seems. Uh, doesn't seem to be going to be a like, high budget movie. Uh, but from what I understood, Death Stranding is more about the story itself. It's not about the uh, VFX and all that thing. It can be implemented in a very good way if they know how to do the movie. From what I saw from footage and the and the, the gameplays and the, and the, the trailers from the first game. Um, yeah. Uh, Temple uh, be something intimate and grounded. Yeah, it's about more about the story and the... the the, the themes that is going to be a, a approach here on the movie. Uh, I, I'm not sure it's going to have the, the same main characters. I think they have some supporting characters, but uh, I think it's going to be with other um, with other main character. I don't see the, the, the point of putting the same main character from the game in the movie, uh, or else you just not... Uh, to a certain point, you're disconnecting the, the people that play the game to people are going to see the movie. Uh, but that's my opinion. Um, but that's it regarding movies. Uh, movies, sorry. Uh, news. Um, I didn't see anything. We are on holidays. Uh, CES is now uh, going to be in like two weeks time maximum. So it's in the beginning of the year. So there is... A lot of speculation. I'm not talking about that speculation. This, uh, it doesn't matter because it's something that it's not still uh, not announced officially, or it's uh, like one year and a half away from supposedly launching. It's uh, a lot of people just like to talk to bring up clicks. Um, so uh, I just don't talk about it here. I don't think it's it's not tangible per se. The, the news they are coming to, to bring about. We don't even uh, finish up the, the, the launches of hardware from this year and this generation. They are talking about the next one. So that's why I don't bring that much uh, kind of news here. Uh, it's not my thing, at least, uh, unless it's something very specific. Um, but I managed to get some good gaming deals uh, to find some of them. Uh, a lot of them are from my wish list. Uh, of games uh, because I know they are going to be good or I know they are good because of the reviews and 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 even independent uh, for example youtubers and everything that I follow they they like the game or I see some footage uh, that uh, sounds me good um, and or am I interested because I play for example the first game of this game Dying Light 2 it's one of the games that is here from the deals you can buy uh, like 50 percent basically and they are they're putting here the um, it will it will end in 12 hours so by when it's launched this video i think you have around 11 to 10 hours uh yeah you have the the basic game the deluxe version and the ultimate version and of course you have all the upgrades if you buy just the basic game here it's between 30 bucks to 70 bucks with the ultimate edition i think the ultimate edition from these games is pretty good because they had a lot of stuff here uh it's a point of uh that i like to make um god of war is also uh on promotion 30 bucks um which is uh, uh, i think he went uh won some 
some awards when it launched. Uh, I, I don't remember too much if it won a lot of awards or not, but it's a good game. Um, this one also, uh, so we are hitting a point here to PlayStation games here. Um, Days Gone uh, seemed very underrated. I never played the game, but uh, from all intents, uh, from all the reviews that I saw, it's a very good game, very underrated uh, in what it does, and the story is seems pretty good. So 70 bucks or 16 and a half. Uh, this is euros, but usually it's kind of the same uh, value in uh, dollars. And then we have like the reboot from the Assassin's Creed franchise, the reboot, so called. They are basically on promotion. You have like 12 bucks for Assassin's Creed Origin, uh, Odyssey. You have those limited editions, uh, but they are very discounted, 75% off. And we have uh, Valhalla, which is last game launched, uh, 70 something percent off, so around 20 euros, give or take, or until 50, 50 euros with the complete edition. Same thing basically here, and Odyssey is way cheaper, the complete ultimate or the maximum edition uh, for 30 euros should be the same at dollars. And basically this is it for today, I will, I will not, I'm not sure if I'm going to bring daily, um, uh, daily content until the end of the year, uh, mainly because I don't know if there is enough news or with the holidays, I don't know how it's going to be my schedule here. Uh, but I'll try if I see something I will just even like a quick video to bring up some info I will bring it up and I'm going to wrap up here to, for today with my go get funding uh, where I'm doing my um, crowdfunding for upgrading my PC to deliver better and more um, work for my private clients uh, I want to start doing some video work also as my laptop basically I just do uh, writing content uh, like review um, and create writing content for my private clients and very 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 basic image editing um my my uh, purpose is to increase the volume because i cannot i can do i cannot do that much I increase volume and quality and different kind of uh, uh, offerings to my private clients and of course on my uh, free and spare time i can continue doing this with better quality uh, and also my gameplay series um, that's the intent of this campaign um, and that's it guys i hope you enjoy it any feedback is very much appreciated so i can uh, be aware what people are liking more on the content itself so i can keep bringing more of the same and i will see in the next one and until then good night, my master out